What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. This your boy, Tank Be Chopping, and we back with another video in today's video. Matter of fact, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, share it with one of your friends, you know, all that good stuff. But like I was saying, man, in this video, we are gonna be talking about something new. It hasn't dropped yet. It's coming out in a couple weeks, and that new tool that I'm talking about is the JRL Onyx Trimmer. Alright guys, so check it out. Here is the JRL Onyx trimmer. A lot of people have been asking me about this trimmer. When is it dropping? How does it work? You know, stuff like that. I posted a video on my Instagram page uh, of me showing off the tool and then I posted a video of me actually using the tool. So y'all gonna see some of those clips here in this video also. So don't worry, y'all gonna see how it works. Y'all gonna see how it balls out. Y'all gonna see how it lines up. You know, all that good stuff. But once again, man, check it out. The JRL Onyx trimmer. Highly anticipated, probably one of the more exciting releases of this year, and the reason why I say that is, a lot of people like the JRL Onyx Clipper. Like, a lot of people. Like, that JRL Onyx Clipper is, in, well, in my personal opinion, is probably one of the best clippers out right now. Uh, I've had mine for a good amount of time, and it works great. And uh, the JRL, the original JRL trimmers, they worked good, but they just, I felt like they were missing something. And I think they fixed that with the JRL Onyx Trimmer. You know, like, that blade just wasn't hitting the way it should have hit. You know, it bought it out really good. It had good power, but it just wasn't hitting the way that a trimmer should hit you know what i'm saying let's, let's just be honest it wasn't hitting as good as the babyless trimmers you know what i'm saying i'm just being 100 with y'all but however i say that to say this that with this new blade on here they they, they didn't took this trimmer up they, they done brought this trimmer up to another level it's a top tier trimmer lines up great and uh, once again y'all gonna see some of the clips of me using this trimmer in this video so y'all just keep watching and checking out that stuff so like i was saying man a lot of people just weren't, weren't really rocking with the original jrl trimmer the fresh the uh, what is it the 2020 t and uh like i said it just didn't have that it just didn't hit the way, you know, we felt trimmers should hit. Like I said, I feel that the babyless trimmers were hitting better. And uh, it just, for whatever reason, wasn't hitting the way it should have. Now, once again, when it comes to balding, it did ball out well. It bought it out good. But it just, it just didn't hit, you know what I'm saying? But they did give an upgraded blade on this trimmer. As you can see, we have a black... Uh, a black blade on here now i'm not 100 percent sure what type of metal this is i don't want to lie to y'all but whatever they did it, it, it's a hitter now it's a certified hitter y'all gonna see me using the video y'all gonna see y'all gonna see for yourself how this thing is gonna be working how it works with my clients how it bods out and how it lines up and y'all gonna see that it's an upgrade
So upon getting this trimmer originally from JRL, I turned it on and I automatically could tell that it's a stronger motor in here. Now, when I went to the JRL headquarters a couple a couple weeks back, uh, they did tell me they were gonna put a stronger motor in here. So I do believe that it's the same motor that's in the clipper. Now that same motor is in the trimmer. So we have a much stronger trimmer with this trimmer here. Once again, I don't know if y'all can really tell the difference between this and the original trimmer, but if you have both, if you have the original trimmer and then you grab this one and you turn them on side by side, you'll be able to tell that this one this one just, it just feels more powerful in the hand and it's a little louder, but it's because it's more power. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. I know a lot of people like JRL because it's nice and quiet. And I still feel that this trimmer is a nice and quiet trimmer. It just has a little more, a little more hum to it, you know, a little more vibration to it. And once again, that's due to the stronger motor in this trimmer. But uh, other than that, as far as ergonomics, as y'all can see, it's it's initially the same trimmer, just a little upgraded. You know, we got a stronger motor in here. I'm not sure what the runtime on the battery is. I don't know if it's an upgraded battery either, but nonetheless, uh, you know, if you get it with the charging dock, you can put it on the charging dock. It's gonna stay charged all day. You're not gonna have an issue with it on charging. Uh, but the one big thing that I that I, I've noticed with this trimmer is not just the power, but the blade. Like I said earlier, guys, we do have that black blade on there, and it just hits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I was lining up with it, it lined up great. I really haven't had any issue with it lining up. And when I was balling out, it bought it out great also. Now that's one thing that I really used my original JRL trimmer for was for balling out, you know, just, just because it didn't hit as good as I wanted it to. So I've been using it to ball out. But when once they put this blade and this motor in this trimmer right here, I feel that you can use this trimmer for anything. Are you balling out? Are you debulking, lining up, shaving, lining up the mustache, behind the neck? Whatever you want to do with this trimmer, you can do and I think it has a lot to do with the new blade and the upgraded motor now one thing that I do want to touch on the blade also is it does have the easy gap technology so what that means is as you can see I don't know if y'all can really see in the video but there's some like uh little hole let me get the camera to focus all right there's some little holes back here I don't know if y'all can see it on camera there's a hole on this side and then on this side and they send you a tool and with that tool you stick it in the hole and you just turn it and as you're turning the tool it's kind of like a screwdriver as you're turning it it moves the blade up a little bit so you can gap it as close as you would like you know if you obviously you can you can still over gap it but obviously that's not something you want to do right like we ain't trying to over gap our clippers and hurt our clients cut our clients or leave them irritated so you do it does take a little bit of getting used to uh, to learn how to gap them properly But I think I have mine gap pretty, you know pretty on point I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but I'm gonna hold it up here to the camera for y'all so y'all can see Once again, I'm not sure if y'all can tell how close it is, but I got it gap pretty good uh, There's like a small a, a little bit of a uh, a little space in between the moving blade and the steel blade and once again the closer you move that moving blade up to the steel blade the co the closer it's going to cut so if you have it flush uh, that means it's 100% zero gap i don't like mine to be flush i like i like mine to have a little bit of space you know a very little amount of space just so i can line up as good as i need to bought out doesn't cause any irritation and doesn't cut any of my clients
So ever since I went to Miami and talked to JRL, y'all been asking me, yo, Tank, when's the JRL trimmer uh, dropping? When's the JRL Onyx trimmer dropping? And they hadn't given me an exact date, and they gave me a date the other day. I actually messaged them on Instagram yesterday, and I said, hey, when is that Onyx trimmer dropping? That way, when I do the video, I can po you know I can say it on the video, and y'all know when it's dropping. And the date they told me was, it's actually going to be dropping at the CT Barber Expo. So if you're going to be at the CT Barber Expo, I think it's May 5th and May 6th, they'll have have some of these trimmers there. I'm not exactly 100% sure how many trimmers they're going to have. I don't know if it's going to be a line. I don't know if you can buy the blade separately. I don't know about all that. But I do know that this, this trimmer is dropping at the CT Barber Expo in Connecticut. So if you're going to be at the CT Barber Expo and you've been watching your boys' videos and you're interested in getting the JRL Onyx trimmer, then as soon as you get into that expo, you need to head over to the JRL booth, get in line, and get you one of these because I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell out because that's just how good this trimmer is and one of the big questions everyone asks always asks when it comes to trimmers is does it hit as good as the original gold fx from babyliss now uh it, it is different obviously it's not going to be exactly the same uh but it is up there with the babyliss trimmer and what i mean by it's up there is it performs it performs almost as good some may argue it performs better. Some may argue it doesn't. Uh, it's just really based on how you feel and how you want your trimmer to work. Me personally, I like it. I wouldn't say that it's better than the Babyliss trimmer, but I would say that it's up there with it. And if I had this trimmer and the Babyliss trimmer on my station, regardless of which one I picked up, I think I can still get this, the same sharp lines and the same baldness coming from these tools. Now, one thing that I did notice with this trimmer is I haven't had I haven't had a snag on anybody. I don't know if y'all remember, uh, but sometimes the Babyliss trimmers, at least mine did, uh, sometimes they would snag like underneath the neck area. Sometimes they would like snag a pore or a hair would get caught. I don't know exactly what would happen, but it would pull the hair, right? I haven't had that happen with these GRO trimmers yet. Now. I'm not saying that that makes these trimmers better. I'm not saying that Babyliss trimmers uh, snag. All I'm saying is my personal one, it did snag before, and uh, I haven't had that happen with this, with this trimmer just yet. Once again, that's not to say that it doesn't line up well. That's not to say that they don't bought out well. Like I said, you can you can basically interchange this trimmer with the, uh, the Gold FX from Babyliss, and I think you'll be happy with either or. But once again, guys, that's just my opinions. Uh, you, you can... You can take my word for it or not, you know, it's totally up to you. But with that being said, man, that's just all I really wanted to talk about on this video was is the new JRL Onyx trimmer. Once again, this trimmer is going to be dropping at the CT Barber Expo. So I believe that's going to be May 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's the days of the expo. So I'm believing it. I believe it's going to be dropping May 5th, you know. So if you're interested in it, y'all can head to the CT Barber Expo and get you one. And if not, you may have to wait for them to drop online. And uh, I'm not sure when retailers are going to get them. Not sure when FW Bar Supply is going to get them. But when they do get this tool, remember, guys, you can go to FW Bar barbersupply.com and use my discount code tank10 on not just this trimmer but any tools you see on their website you can use my discount code and save you some money but uh, with that being said man that's basically it for this video once again here is the jrl onyx trimmer one of my go-to trimmers as of right now i just wanted to make sure i put that out there all in all great tool bods out well lines up well ergonomics on it you know the er i've always liked the ergonomics of the trimmer i just didn't like the way it performed when it came to lining up but now i feel that jro has solved that issue so now that they solved that issue I think this trimmer's a go, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, man, that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.